Hey guys and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a review on a foundation and it's by Maybelline. And I really love Maybelline, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So here's the foundation and it is Maybelline's Dream Flawless Nude and this is in 10 Ivory. It came out recently in my super drug so I had to buy this and to be honest I've only seen this in America so I'm quite new to this stuff here. So what I've read about this is that it has seven shades so I mean it's not a lot because I've seen other brands with like maybe like 15 or a lot more shades but um, this has seven shades it has 20 milliliters in this and I'm, I'm guessing this is quite small yeah it's quite small compared to um, like a normal foundation and I have the better skin foundation here and this is 30 mil so it's got 10 milliliters less so it is you've got less product than a normal foundation bottle. The coverage I heard is, well it's called Flawless Nude so I'm guessing it's something just to even out your skin tone and so I'm guessing it would be light to medium or just really light. Um, so yeah, let's try it. The wand is actually so weird, I've never seen this before. This is the weirdest thing. On the bottle it says to shake well and then drop on finger. So I guess I'll be doing that then. <laughs> very smooth very smooth it feels so nice probably won't be able to see it because I can barely see it it's very smooth I really like the texture of this so I can see it cover up some of my redness on my cheeks because I really do have red spots on my cheeks. So I can see it cleaning that bit up. Let's see if it can cover up some spots because I do have a spot here. And it does do it quite well. I'm quite surprised to be honest. I'm using one finger that's taking quite long. I might just use two fingers. It's actually not that bad. I'm actually quite surprised. I wasn't expecting it to be quite good because I'm not really used to liquidy foundations. This is like very watery. It's quite a long process. It has like an alcohol smell to it. I've never smelt that before. Maybe because it's a really watery product. I, I don't even know, but it just smells smells like smells like alcohol. I don't know if this is the fastest way. I don't think I would even use a brush for this because I can tell there's gonna be streaks. more on my nose, swap hands. I can see it clinging to one of my dry spots because I had a spot there and it kind of scabbed up and stuff so I can see it clinging to it and I don't know if I like that so but I'll keep going and see how this goes. smooth I really love the texture it's like liquid to powder finish it feels so smooth and I'm I, I just think it really does even out my skin tone I'm gonna put a bit more on places where I think it should have more like on like some spots and a little bit on some red marks so I'll see if if it can be buildable and if it does have you know better coverage That did quite well, not gonna lie. I do get really red around my nose. And plus I do have oily skin, so I wanna see how this 
actually comes out so I'm not going to use any mattifying powder none of that I just want to see how it turns out if it clings to dry skin if you know if it's suitable for oily skin so I'll see how this works So I think I have finished with the foundation. I really like how it came out texture wise and you know how it felt but I can see that it is like sticking to some of the dry areas that I have on my face like here. I do have some dry places here and I can see it like attaching itself to it so it's making it a bit more obvious which I don't really like because I don't want my dry skin to you know be obvious to everyone and like here I obviously have a scab from where my, my last spot was and I can see it's like really stuck to it so I don't I don't really like that but um I'm not gonna put any concealer on I'm just gonna keep it how it is I'm gonna finish off with my makeup and then once I finish my makeup I'll show you how it all looks like so yeah so now I'm finished with my whole face and I've done my makeup um, the foundation stayed on really well and I like the fact that it barely feels like I have any makeup on um, oil I actually don't think I have any oil so I think it's kept it and prevented it right now unless I've like not reached the peak of oiliness so um, it's kept on really well and I it's so smooth oh my gosh compared to other foundations that I use that are obviously much thicker um, you can usually feel it on, my, on like on your skin and I can feel it on my skin but feeling this foundation it feels so smooth and it's so soft and I really like the fact that um, it keeps oil in but the thing that I don't like is the fact that it clings to dry spots because still I have a dry area here where the foundation is like clipped itself onto and on my nose but other than other than the fact that it clips onto dry spots I think it's really good so I wouldn't really recommend it for anyone who has dry skin unless you really really moisturize well hopefully that you know will keep moisture in for long and you can put this on it'll be fine for people with oily skin I mean hopefully that this will you know prevent the oiliness from coming out so it's really good for that I didn't even use a powder but other than that it is a light coverage so if you do want to use concealer you should because I still see some spots like here and there but other than that I think it was it did really well for a light to medium-ish coverage so yeah I really enjoy this product and I would definitely recommend it to someone so that was the review and I hope you enjoyed it and please don't forget to thumbs up and make sure you favourite and subscribe and share and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!